Hey guys, it's Kelsey. Um, so I just recently went off and got myself married. Woo! Um, so in the process, I did pretty much everything every other bride, woman, whatever would do. And one of those things is getting my nails done. Whoa, screen. Okay, so I ripped this one off, so don't look at it. Anyways, other hand, got our nails did. Now I want you to look. Okay, are you really looking? Take a really good look. All angles here. Alright, who invented this monstrosity of a thing that I put on my hand? Who came up with this idea? That's what I want to know. Because seriously, okay, did you really look at it? Look at how thick these things are. If I have an itch, I'm like sitting there like, get it off for like 10 minutes, okay? Like, these things are so thick. What is this? What exactly is that little thing? They put the brush into the powdery stuff and then the liquidy stuff and then they rub it on your finger and they put some more liquidy stuff on there. Why do women do this stuff? Like, I did this once for prom, and I was like, man, I hated those things. They fell off. Like, I jammed my pinky nail into the stupid shifter on my car, and it just ripped off. And, like, at first, like, I used to be like, ha, you broke a nail. Like, girls would be like, oh, my God, I broke a nail. And I'm like, that sucks. I break nails all the time. I don't whine about it. That was the first time when I was like, mother of God, what is this pain? You know, like, it actually really hurts. Okay? So... Stupid me. I don't know what I was... Okay, I was thinking that they look really good because, let's be honest, they look kind of cute. I even got the little the little silver sparkly... Oh, dang, you can't see it. Kind of a little bit. Oh, I got the silver sparkly line above my ring fingers, and I was like, aw, these look so cute as I left. And I pulled out my phone, and my sisters were blowing up my phone, so I was, like, texting them, like, two days before the wedding. So I was like, but... And my stupid fingernails are like, tick, 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 tick. So first of all, the sound is driving me nuts. Secondly, I have my phone here, and like every other letter is screwed up because apparently my tick, tick, tick is actually hitting other stupid letters. Okay? So not only do I have like this, you know, my fingers are like ripped apart and they're all damaged and stuff, so I sat through that, but then I got these like fake plasticky, hard as rock things put on them, and they're thick, and so now I'm annoying myself with the noise, the extra tick on top of the phone going, which is why I put my phone on silent when I'm typing. But now. It's pushing extra stuff. And so it takes me like ten times as long to send a stupid text message as it did. I'm like, oh, forget it. I'll just call them. So then I'm trying to call them. And, of course, I hit the wrong numbers because the extra tick, tick, tick. And I'm like, no, wrong number. So then I just gave up altogether. And I was like, Siri, call my sister. And that was just the end of it. But then I was thinking like the other day, you know, like as I'm driving, like I'm terrified of taking these things off. I ripped this one off. And I was like, nope. That's the end of that. These are going to stay on until my fingers are, my fingernails are just completely grown up and I'll just cut them off. God, that's miserable. Anyway, so I was thinking like yesterday as I'm having this itch, I'm like, oh my God, come on, just scratch it, just itch it. Okay, like not being able to itch when you're itchy is probably like, I don't know, they should use that as some like torture system or something because that's just awful. So you're sitting there, and then you finally get, like, relieved, but it's still kind of itchy. You just scratch there for, like, 20 minutes, and you, like, relieve the itch, okay? But it's still there. You didn't fully take care of it like you would with your own natural nail. So then I thought, this not only is a genius, like, torture device, but they should really, like, stick fake fingernails on any kids that get chicken pox, because let's be honest, they can't scratch them open. Like, they just sit there, and they're like... Mom, my chicken pox are itchy. Screw the oven mitts on your mittens duct tape to your hands for like a week. Just put some fake fingernails on your kid. They can't scratch. They're going to sit there scratching, being miserable because they have these red bumps all over their body and these things, they're like a quarter of an inch thick that are made out of plastic and not sharp or itch-worthy material to use at all. And they're just, you know... I sit there out of school, like, scratching their face and stuff. Don't worry about, like, your mom saying, oh, you're going to get a scar if you keep scratching. No, mom, I'm not, because you know what? I can't itch. It still itches. I don't understand why girls do fake fingernails. I don't understand why I put them back on myself, other than the fact that they were cute, but totally not worth it. Not worth the cost, not worth the aftermath, but they were cute. They looked good in the pictures. Maybe that's why people do it. Who knows? I just really don't like finger fake fingernails, and I don't like not being able to itch when I'm really itchy.
Especially when you're sweating in your hair, you got that long hair. You girls know what I mean. Like, stuff gets everywhere, like it grazes across your face, and you're like, get it off, you know? Like, you can't do that with fingernails that are fake, and this thick, long, whatever, I don't know what this stuff is. It's plastic and gel. Gel doesn't sound like rocks, okay? Anyways, torture device. That's what they should use it for. I think it's a good idea, and I think it's a good idea to put on your kids for, for having chicken pox, you know, because my husband's like, I'll scratch my back, and he's like, harder, harder. I'm like, you look, guy, I can't, okay? I got plastic glued to my fingers. And rant.